Inner Harbor lately, you might have seen a new habitat, and it's part of the National Aquarium's newest outdoor exhibit, which is called Harbor Wetland. Yeah, this is part of a big effort to help keep our waterways clean and healthy. Our Janae Reese is on your corner. She has a closer look at how the project is coming together. Tariq and Taishan's sixth grade class have a big job to complete. We plant in the sea, the plants in the water, grass, whatever, for the ground, so the water, so the um, so the animals can have a better environment and have a habitat. These Harlem Park Elementary Middle School students are volunteering with the Baltimore Orioles to help the National Aquarium plant and build the new Harbor Wetland exhibit. It represents a traditional Chesapeake Bay tidal wetland marsh. It will be a free outdoor experience located between piers three and four next to the aquarium. The Baltimore Harbor used to be uh, used to have a lot of wetland habitat. Uh, since its development um, and economic growth, we harden nearly all of our shoreline. Their goal is to recreate the salt marsh habitat that existed here hundreds of years ago. The harbor is still a working harbor. We can't change that, so we can't take away the bulkhead. So creating a floating wetland is one way to bring together both um, nature and also man. By planting the native marsh grasses into the floating mats, Dahlenberg says it'll bring the exhibit to life. We want people to explore an, a natural green space right here in the heart of Baltimore City. It's a way to build a natural habitat and help people learn more about it. And I've seen how they kind of brighten up when we actually get to do activities. So talking about things in class is totally different than being out here, doing it, being able to apply the knowledge. I have folks be able to walk out here free in a city and sit here and see uh, the beauty that's going to come from that is just an extra icing on the cake. Their hope is once they add all the finishing touches on the exhibit is to have it complete by this summer. For now, reporting, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.